All right, number nine, we want to factor each of these completely. A, we have 3t minus 14t. Okay, these both have t in common. So if we pull out a t, um, we'll be left with 3 minus 14. And, um, I mean, we can simplify. I think they want us to simplify all the way down. Uh, we could write this as uh, t times negative 11. So, um, let's go ahead with the simplified version. t times negative 11. B, PQ plus P. So pull a P from both, and we will have a P outside in parentheses Q plus 1. Doing C, we have P squared plus PQ. I'm going to pull out what they have in common. We can pull a P out of both. Uh, the first term will have one P left. The second term will just have the Q. So we have a P and then in parentheses P plus Q. D, we have four PQ plus five P minus PR. Alright, so all three terms have a P. Uh, pulling out the P would leave us with 4Q. It would leave us with a 5 in the middle and a minus R at the back. E. We have FGH. E, FGH, huh? A little hidden humor there plus FG minus F uh, divide out the F's we have G H plus just G and then minus 1 So I'm going to do these, enter these, because we're running out of room, and we'll pick back up. <clears throat> so we have P, parentheses, Q plus 1. Okay, uh, on part C, we had P, P, and then parentheses, P plus Q. On D, we have uh, P, and then in parentheses, 4Q plus 5 minus R. And then E, we have um, F and then parentheses GH plus G minus 1 so um, I didn't pull G's out because everything has to have a G so just the F there so we have F and G left F <clears throat> 4 minus f squared okay so at first glance it looks like they have nothing in common um, well they don't but there is a special formula difference of squares that you need to notice uh, 4 is a perfect square you can rewrite it as 2 squared 
minus f squared. So if you have two perfect squares being subtracted, this factors to 2 plus f and 2 minus f. Okay, so you got to be aware and paying attention and looking out for that. Uh, you'll see that a lot. So 2 plus f. 2 minus f. And the order doesn't matter if you switch them and put the minus in front. <clears throat> and then with g, looks like we're going to be doing the same thing. Uh, we have 36p squared minus 4q squared. Now there's a couple things you can do here. Um, one, you can factor out a 4, which I would recommend. Uh, we'll factor out a 4 first of a 9 or 36 and 4. And that will leave us with a 9p squared minus q squared. Alright, now all of these are still perfect squares. This is uh, 3 squared and although you have more than one squared term it's okay the formula will still hold so this 9 is 3 squared so when I factor this completely I will have a 3 and a P drop those squares plus Q and then the same thing minus Q 3 P minus Q so that will be the completely factored form. Four three P plus Q and then three P minus Q. It says although your answer is equal to the correct answer is not in the correct form okay so maybe they don't want us to factor out the four first if we can um, uh, just write it as six and minus two so we'll we'll do that um, so going back here uh, perfect square is six perfect square is two so I'm just gonna add um, change this to a six and change this to a two in front of those numbers <clears throat> that will make up the difference instead of factoring out the four first that's why I said it's equal to but not in the right form so we want this to be a six and a two and a six and a two 